Welcome to the yeah. RKY Hello. Tech Career Summit. I hope you all can hear me. I hope you can see me as well. Thank you for confirming. Thank you for confirming. OK, so um, a little bit a little bit of uh, introduction. I'm Rukayas. I'm the CEO of RKY Careers, and I'm happy to have each and every one of you here. As always, you know, I would usually start with an introduction. However, we're going to use the chat box, you know, to get to meet each other. You know, so I'd like to know your name, where you're joining from, you know, and what you do currently. So we're going to use the chat box, you know, to make this um, session a quite interactive one. I mean, you are, there's a lot packed for us to do together today. However, while we are waiting for the introductions to come in, please share the link that you used to join this meeting with your friends, family, your communities, your groups. You know, let's get more people to join, right? To come and you know, enjoy what we have, what we have packed today. So I'm going to go to the chat box now to read out the introductions. So your name, where you are joining from, what part of the UK, what part of the world, what part of you know. The planets are you joining us from? Okay, so we have Queen joining from Derby. Nice to meet you, Queen. We've got Raliat from United Kingdom. Nice to meet you, Raliat. We've got Christiana from Manchester, UK, presently a credit controller. Nice to meet you, Christiana. I've got Abibat from Derby. Nice to meet you. Ifan from Middlesbrough. Nice to meet you. Tosin. Oh, Raliat from Bristol, nice to meet you. Okay, looks like we've got to Raliat. Okay, so Osa from Luton, nice to meet you, Osa. May from the UK, nice to meet you, May. Maru from Birmingham, I'm a pension administrator, nice to meet you, Maru. Utibe from Nigeria, nice to meet you, Utibe. Damola from Salford, energy specialist, nice to meet you, Damola. Femi Sonny from Sheffield. Sakshi from East Sussex, Olufemi from Aberdeen, Ahmed from East London, Oluwakpelumi from Western Supermare, is that the UK as well? Ugoeze from Nigeria, Francis from Middlesbrough. Okay, don't know what happened to Tim's right there. Okay, so Yetunde from London, nice to meet each and every one of you. For those just joining, we are using the chat box to introduce ourselves, your name, where you are joining from, and what you do currently. Let's keep the introductions coming. Also, if you're just joining, please share this meeting link with your friends, your family, your colleagues, share in your groups, in your communities, you know, in your church groups, your school groups, you know, your flat groups, <laughs> house share groups you know, and other groups that you might be in. Let's get more people to come benefit from what we've got today. So we've got Okweyemi from Newcastle. I'm a student. Nice to meet you, Okweyemi. Nice to meet you, Yetunde Ikechuku, Francis, you know. Okay. So we're going to do just one more, one more minute at 2.10. We would go straight into the business of the day. For those just joining, welcome to the RKY Careers Tech Summit. And yes, I'm Rukayat and I'm the founder and CEO of RKY Careers. I've got my team as well on the call and we are all happy to welcome you here. So I've got K and Dave from Kent. So it's going to be a very interactive class. In between the sessions, I'm going to throw a lot of questions open. And those questions, you know, I would love to get response to them so that, you know, I can know that you guys are with me, you know, through the chat box as usual. OK, so it looks like we've done justice to the introductions. OK, so I've got Fisayo from Sunderland. It's 2.10. And um, thanks, Fisayo, for helping us round up, you know, the introduction phase. Let's keep the introduction coming if you're just joining as well. We'll take intermittent breaks to, you know, um, to read them out from the chat box. I've got Aziz joining from the UK, scheduling and delivery technician at Seven Trends. Nice to meet you, Aziz, as well. So please confirm if you can still see me, if you can still hear me, and if you can see my 
screen. Can you see my screen, guys? Can we proceed? Yes, we can. Thank you for confirming. Thank you. So, um, welcome once again to the RKY Tech Summit. So, who is RKY? You know, RKY is a based tech company, you know, that's, you know, helps, you know, people and supports professionals, international students to land their desired jobs, to thrive in their existing jobs, to excel in the competitive, <clears throat> you know, job markets, both in the UK as well as globally, right? In the last um, 12 months, you know, we boast of over 1,000 plus success stories across, you know, roles, across industries, across locations and countries as well. Excuse me. Right, so how do we support people? How did we achieve these success stories? We've done this through our trainings and our services. We've got trainings ranging from data analysis, project management and business analysis, Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint, Scrum, Star, product owner, product manager. We've got some upcoming as well. We've got some programs like Tech Career Accelerator program as well. And then we've got our services and we've got our services you know from the cv optimization linkedin optimization interview prep career advisory consultation professional portfolio and the likes as well right so so today it's all about tech we are here to talk about tech right how do we leverage tech right in the current job market in the global job markets. So that's all we are going to talk about today. The first reason is why tech? Why transition to tech? Why acquire, you know, in demand tech skills? What is the why? So the first thing is that, you know, tech industry is currently right on fire. Like tech is the new oil, like they used to say. And this is not because, you know, just this, just, and when we say tech, industry we don't mean just a few companies just the top 10 we mean you know the tech skills generally are really in demand across industries across levels across countries across locations you know and they all wear different uh, i mean in different capacities as well so the first reason or the first reason is the demand is really in demand jobs in tech you know are actually in demand the need for tech skills even regardless of the role you're trying to you know position yourself for is really really in demand right now a lot of companies want to be more efficient a lot of companies want to be more profitable the only way to do this is to be more you know to be more efficient to look at their current process to look at you know to look at the current process to look at their future process and to try to take themselves from where they are to where they really want to be you know this is a market where um i mean based on the economic situation globally as well you know this is this is um you know a period where no company wants to you know waste resources no company wants to have you know resources they don't need you know companies want to try to be it is to implement change change from what they are to what they want to be you know how can they make informed decisions when going through this change you know is by analyzing their data either historic data is by also predicting what the future holds all this is true data analysis right is by you know implementing projects that would help them achieve this change all this right is true projects management and business analysis is also by building innovative products that will help them to stay ahead of their competitors in the markets what more products can they build to increase profitability what ca can they do you know market research market analysis industry analysis to know how can they be better you know competitors in the market how can they in what products line should they introduce they can do this you know through the product owner products i mean through the true product owners products managers you know how do they get more efficient 
you know, saw that they are not implementing projects that, you know, probably will not go to the market or they don't need, you know, it's true, you know, the agile methodology, you know, it's true, agile delivery managers, true scrum masters, you know, and the likes, right? So the need for these roles, that these tech roles, you know, is really, you know, growing rapidly and, you know, it's going rapidly and it's people that need to feel, even artificial intelligence, even though there's artificial intelligence now, it's still engineers that would, you know, prompt the artificial intelligence. It's still engineers or it's still, you know, um, human beings, right, that would build the chatbots or that would build, you know, the two artificial intelligence tools that, you know, we need. So tech is not going anywhere. The skills are here. I mean, the demand for tech is here to stay. So one of the other areas, one of the other reasons why tech is really in demand right now is because of the visa sponsorship opportunities it offers, not only in the UK, but globally as well. There's, there are a range of countries, you know, if you want to list them, that are actually seeking, you know, seriously for tech, tech, um, tech professionals right and that's the reason why we have a lot of tech visas across countries in the uk we've got you know visa sponsorship opportunities in tech in canada we have you know tech um sponsorship opportunities as well in america you know across the globe really so even if you acquire tech skills today there's no limit to where you can apply it the tech skills do not do not change form or do not change across borders so if you are a project manager in the uk if you become a project manager in america or if to position yourself for project management in America is still the same, you know, it's still the same project management is not changing. It's not like there's a jurisdictional caveat to it or there's a jurisdictional, um, would I say jurisdictional knowledge you need to know because you are now in America or you are now going to New Zealand or the Netherlands or Canada or Nigeria or, you know, so there's visa sponsorship opportunity. If we want to stick to just the UK, even as for an example, right? Currently, there's a lot going on with regards to visa sponsorship. A lot of people, a lot of people are seeking visa sponsorship. A lot of companies Right. I mean, based on the immigration um, policies that we've been seeing changing here and there, there are just a few industries left that can actually afford to pay the new uh, minimum salary requirements, right, in that people need to get visa sponsorship. And this one of these industries is tech. So if there is a, if you've been waiting on the fence before, if you've been sitting on the fence, you've not made a decision, you are not sure this is the right time to actually get into tech is actually always better late than never right so we also have diverse fields right in tech you are not limited to just gone are the days when tech used to be just coding or programming you know or you know now there's loads of people in tech that don't even know how to code that don't even know how to i mean that don't even know mathematics you know or that now, that mathematics or that are not good at chemistry or whatever it is you know that we thought was a difficult part of tech there are so many no coding no programming tech roles out there you know and there are so many ways you can also apply your tech skills in industry in business as well there are so many business related roles that you know you need tech skills to thrive in that you need tech tech skills right to succeed in so there are so many there are a wide range of roles you know that you can explore in tech you're not limited to just you know the difficult one we've got the projects management business analysis digital marketing you know we've got a wide range of roles that are all still under the umbrella of tech so two people can be in tech and they don't even do similar things right there are a wide range of roles in tech so the competitive salaries right Tech is one of the industries, you know, that offer very good salary, high paying jobs up to £1,000 per day for some contract roles and up to six figures for some roles. If you want to transition to or if you want to change your career in this current day and time, right, you don't want to transition to a field where the maximum you can earn in that field is like 25, you know, or 30. And that's it. That's like the highest level, you know. You want to transition to a career path where you know that, you know, even if you are starting with 30 today, you know that at least there are some other adverts you are seeing for the same role that are offering 60, offering 70. That off so that means that there's 
opportunity for career progression, right? Competitive salaries, right? And we have a lot of people that we know as well that we've worked with who have taken our boot camps and have transitioned and landed first rows as high as 500 per day, 400 per day, 350 per day, 60K, 70K for their first row, right? So you want to put yourself and position yourself in a career path that has this potential. I mean, not to talk about the recession that we're currently going you know, go, that's um, we're currently experiencing in the UK. The world generally, you know, there's a need for you to actually command a high earning, you know, salary or a high earning pay, right? So even look at um, other countries, if you look at Africa as well, there's a lot going on there. You don't want to be in a place where, you know, you want to be in a career path where, you know, you can explore opportunities internationally, you can command salaries in pounds, you can command salaries in dollars, mm -hmm. even from your location as well so those are one of the opportunities you i mean those are some of the opportunities that tech can afford you you know future proofing your career as well you know with disruption here and there today there's something tomorrow tomorrow to, today there's a skill you know or there's a role you are in and then and if we use the example of people that relocated recently to the uk a lot of us or a lot of people had actually gone very far in their careers and either as customer service, you know, either as operations persons, you know, they've actually gone very far, spent 10, 20, 30 years in their careers without actually acquiring tech skills. And then they find themselves in a new space and they are unable to, there are even some roles that you see that some of us held back home, right, that here in the UK, those roles don't even exist. And what does that mean? It means that you now find yourself at a place where you need to start all over again. However, if you have tech skills, if you are in tech, regardless of where the world or where your life journey takes you, right, your career is future proofed, right? So even if it looks like, oh, there's less demand for this particular role, the advantage of you know, tech skills is that you still find a role where all the skills you have, your title might be different, you know, your title might be different. However, you still find a, a role, it might be another name now, but everything that you want, you can do currently is what they want you to come and do in that role. The title might just be different. So we have people, for instance, who, you know, join our bootcamp in business analysis and you know, they join our boot camp in business analysis and are able to get roles as applications analysts, as systems analysts, right, as um, transformation analysts. So that's the advantage of tech. You are not stuck in just one role because there are so many roles that are being coined, that are being coined out as, you know, a compilation of skills here and there, projects, a bit of projects management, a bit of business analysis, you find a role called automation analyst, you find a role called transformation manager, and you see that you are able to, you know, thrive in that role. However, you can't come with, you know, a customer service experience and just expect to be able to do projects management, you know, um, you be able to do or understand what projects managers do. I mean, apologies for using customer services, the easiest I can use. So, you know, probably that's because that's where I started my own career from as well. So moving to what are the transferable skills that are valuable in tech? First of all, what are transferable skills? Right. Transferable skills are skills that you already have that you can easily, you know, apply or that, was, that is also required in the field you are going to or that will give you a soft landing in the field you are going to. So if you are someone who loves to analyze situations, you know, who love to do analysis, even without even... I mean, going to Excel to do it, you know, then you have a transferable skills that is, you know, required and that is in demand. Communication. There's no rule I want to believe that you've held that you have not, you know, leveraged communication skills. In tech as well, right, what makes people stand out in tech is not the technical skills, it's more of the soft skills. And I would say that because you have these soft skills, because of the roles you held previously, you would, you know, thrive well if you also transition to tech as well. You know, having a solution mindset in tech is all about, you know, solution mindset. And you don't need to be in tech to have a solution mindset, right? So if you're if you are someone who loves to investigate, you know, you love to do, you love, you love to, you know, escalate situations so that you know, the situations can be solved, the challenges can be solved, then, you know, you already have half of what it takes to transition to tech. Adaptability, you know, you have to be someone, you know, who loves change, who can drive change, you know, who has a continuous development mindset. You have to have a 
problem solving mindsets. I'm sure most of us already have the stakeholder management, even as a customer service person, as you're attending to your clients, satisfy, trying to satisfy them, trying to resolve their issues, you're actually, you know, um, you're actually being, you're actually managing stakeholders because, you know, your clients as, as well are your stakeholders. Process improvement, these are the skills that are actually required. So if you want to transition to tech, you have to have a process improvement mindset, regardless of the you're moving to. When you even have interviews, you're likely to be asked to answer questions of how you will come and improve their processes or process or how you have improved process in the past. You know. And you know, that's a mindset that you need to have. And I'm sure that at one time or the other in your previous roles, you have had to improve processes. You would have identified redundancies. You just might not know that this is something they put together and call another room, right? You might have identified ways that things are not working, and you might have tried to recommend suggestions on how to improve these processes. So these are some of the skills that you already have that you need and that would help you succeed as you transition to tech. And I would say that these skills, sometimes, you know, they even carry a better with than the technical skills because a lot of people can learn technical skills you see but those soft skills like that interpersonal relationship emotional intelligence you can't actually you that i mean that's what would separate a candidate that can crunch numbers and another candidate that can crunch numbers when they get to interviews who is a better communicator who is a better stakeholder manager you know and this i believe you would already have because you are coming from a non-tech background so, so what are some fields, some tech fields that we have, right, with global potential, that a wide range or long list, right, of fields, right, that have very, um, that have global potential that you can get jobs in across borders. We've got data, data related roles, you know, like the data analysis, data engineer, data scientist, you know, artificial intelligence, machine learning, you know, all these are all data related roles. We've got the business analyst, solutions ar analyst, solutions architect, enterprise architect, you know, systems analyst, all these, you know, are, are in demand roles you know, across borders. We've got the network engineer, IT support analyst as well, you know. We've got finance analyst, finance manager, projects manager, projects coordinator, application software, web development developers, scrum master, agile delivery manager, agile coach, you know, business intelligence analyst, product owner, digital marketing analyst or manager as well, right? There are long list of roles. However, some roles always have, you know, barrier to entry. You know, the reason why you would not see some roles on this list is because probably they have barrier to entry. And what barrier to entry mean is that, you know, you can't easily, even if you want to transition, the journey to transitioning is not like a three months, four months, five months or six months journey. And also it's, um, it's also like some fields, you need to have some certification, you need to have security clearance, you need to have stayed in the country for about five years because the roles are sensitive. That's why you won't find some roles like cybersecurity here or software engineering or, you know, probably, yeah, because I mean, for you to actually be able to command these high salaries you are saying, you can't be, you know, um, you, you would need more time, right, than just the six months bootcamp four months bootcamp or three months bootcamp but these are the ones that are easy to transition to and can get you you know your desired roles in no time so how do you set the stage for tech excellence how do you transition to these roles right how do you transition to these roles okay so this is where i now introduce you to the rky tech career bootcamps right we've got a wide range you know a long list of boot camps that you can explore right that would um afford you the opportunity to transition to tech right with over 1000 success stories in 2023 you know we are confident that you know we've got everything you need to get your job ready and to transition to tech so what's the rky advantage you know so at rky our boot camps are designed you know are designed to get you job ready our curriculum are regularly updated to be in line with industry trends, you know. So every time we do our, is an assessment of our uh, program, what do we need to add? You know, what is in demand in the market? We are constantly in touch with what is in demand in the market. What is in demand now for these rules? Okay, so let's update our project management course with this. Let's update our 
you know. So recently, at the beginning of this year, we updated all our courses with artificial intelligence because we know that artificial intelligence has come to disrupt, right? However, artificial intelligence is not going to take your job. You just need to find a way to use artificial intelligence to do better at your job, right? And that is what we did with all our boot camps. You know, at the, by the time you're done with all our boot camps, right, you would have very good knowledge of how you can also leverage this artificial intelligence to thrive in your role, right? So we are a CPD UK accredited um, training provider as well. And that means that our training materials, our, our training methods, right, have actually been endorsed, have been assessed and have gained accreditation from CPD UK, right? So we've got a personalized learning approach. Our classes are live and expert led. You know, they are not just recordings. You know, we're not one of those um, training companies that would, you know, um, yeah, you enroll with and, you know, they would, it would be like a one day crash course, two days crash course, or just pure recording and you wouldn't even get to, you know, um, you won't get to like, you know, get a one to one with, you know, your with your lecturers like and facilitators as well. Right. So there's in all our uh, boot camps as well is practical work experience focused in all our trainings and boot camps. You know, you get to work on practical projects that would give you, you know, work experience. We recently introduced as well our post boot camp weekly drop weekly interview prep dropping sessions, because like I said, we are constantly always looking at what can we do, you know, all our boot camps already come with interview prep. However, you know, we sat down again and we looked at it that people, people need additional supports, you know, people need additional supports when they get into the job markets, because we have a lot of people probably when the boot camp was going on, they were doing their dissertation, they were busy with this, they have childcare, they have this. So when you get that interview as well, bring your job description, we would help you dissect it, we would support you, right, on interview prep. So it doesn't just end at the end of the, of the training itself, it doesn't just end at the end of the project part as well. You still continue to be a part of the RKY family, right? Also, you get access to our LMS, you know, for up to 12 months. You also continue to be part of our um, alumni community where we bring experts, right, to where we bring experts to come talk to us on a monthly basis as well. For instance, this month, and if you enroll for any of our courses for this, um, I mean, before the end of this month, you also get to enjoy the monthly webinar we're having this month where we are bringing an immigration lawyer an immigration consultant to come and talk to our students about you know what options they have you know um you know to help i mean what options they have right concerning their uk stay as well so this is what we are constantly doing last month i think we brought somebody to come teach our students how to get jobs in the nhs and guess what just yesterday i had about two success stories two additional of course because we've always had nhs success stories you know success stories of people that got jobs as you know projects manager project support officer data analyst and they actually referenced that particular um session we had with the nhs um experts right and we also had one with the civil service as well someone one of our alumni came back as well to talk to us about landing jobs so over here is all about value what more value can we, we are never tired you're right even though you've paid it's over six months your money has expired you know but still we're still always bringing right value your way also as part of our boot camps you get to enjoy our free cv and linkedin optimization service done for you not templates right we're going to do your cv for you we're going to do your linkedin for you you get to work on you know projects as well that and gets um verifiable um, reference right so um here are a few success stories you know that we've had you know you can see we have people that landed you know civil service role after our data analysis bootcamp you know um visa sponsorship job as a finance manager you know it support analyst role data analyst role with a top uk firm thanks to the data analysis bootcamp operational research analyst thanks to the data analysis bootcamp commercial finance analyst thanks to the data analysis bootcamp we've got um compliance two compliance roles thanks to the rky compliance boot, uk compliance bootcamp so we've got um oil and gas firm data analyst role with an oil and gas firm thanks to the data analysis bootcamp 
you know, a project management role with visa sponsorship in the UK, a project coordinator role with an energy company in the UK, a project lead role with a charity organization in London, project management office role with visa sponsorship from Nigeria. So here are a few. If you go to our page at rkycareers.com, you'll be overwhelmed with the number of success stories, you know, that we've had or that we consistently, right, have through the bootcamp. And these are, you know, the few we can share. We have so many people that are pre-employment stages that we can't share their success story, you know, yet. Right. So these are more highlights again of success stories that we had. You know, we've got Amina Lande, the conflict analyst position from Compliance Bootcamp, Dixon, pricing data analyst from Data Analysis Bootcamp, Daisy, data analyst from Data Analysis Bootcamp, Abiodun, performance analyst from Data Analysis Bootcamp, Tosin back the sponsorship job a business analyst sponsorship role from the business analysis bootcamp, Wura business protection and risk assessment analyst from the compliance bootcamp, Adiola got the reward analyst from data analysis bootcamp, Ose got a change delivery officer from the data analysis bootcamp. You can see the list is, you know, um, endless really. And yeah, so, so now, um, before we proceed, I would I know that you have an interest in tech. There's a reason why you're in this session. You have an interest in tech. Before we go, you know, deep dive, I mean dig um deep dive into the different programs or the different areas in tech you can explore. You know, I would like you guys to tell me in the comment section which area of tech are you really are you interested in or do you think is the one for you? Can you guys hear me? Oh, you guys said you can hear, hear me. Yes, we can. Oh, okay. Oh, because I just came to the chat box now. This speaker's voice is so low. My voice is low, so I can get my headset. It's still very low. Awesome. Please let's drop our comments in the chat box. Um, Diana said she's interested in product management. We've got you, don't worry. Fisaya says she's interested in project management. We've got you as well. Chidima says data protection. Yeah, then the UK compliance bootcamp will be that the one for you. Oluak Belumi says data analysis. Osa says data analysis. Cynthia says data scientist. In fine, it's talk between data analysis and Scrum Master. Obina says project management, but I want data analysis based on my plan. Okay, he says business analyst. Abdul Kadir, Abdul Kabir says product management. Caroline, business analysis. Ugoeze, Ugoeze, data analysis. Another person is caught between Scrum Master and Project Manager. <clears throat> Francis says data analysis, business analyst, and cyber security. Okay, good to hear from you know those that contributed to that. Okay. So Still, Ikanem says network analyst, solutions analyst. Vanessa is still confused. Don't worry. Stay till the you know, like shed more light on each of the roles as we proceed. So we're starting with data analysis now. Okay, so I'm going back to my screen. Please confirm if you can still see my screen. Okay. Don't worry if you're still confused for those that say they're confused. That's why, you know, we are here today. So prepare your questions, you know. You still get to the um, question and answer section as well, where you ask as many questions. So we're going to start with data analysis. Right. Who is a data analyst? So the data analysis role is all about, you know, bringing out information from a data set for management decision making. So if you are somebody who loves to investigate, who loves to like, you know, investigate, do analysis, find where, find information that is not obvious to you, like, you know, you can, you want to dig deep, you want to do root cause analysis, you know, you can see that something is not looking really good and, you know, you want to know why. You know, as a data analyst, 
you know, you have to have that skill of wanting to know why. So you are somebody that will be helping and, you know, supporting management in making data driven decision. So management wants to stop the production of a particular product line, right? However, they can't guess that which one should stop. They need to make that decision based on data. And how would they know? They need to check, you know, as a data analyst, you will help them to look at what the sales you know, what's the sales analysis? What's the sales um, trend looking at, looking like for this particular product for the last five years? Right. As a data analyst as well, you might want to check what's the cost that goes into producing this particular, what's the cost and benefit analysis, you know? So those are the kind of very interesting things you'll be working on as a data analyst. Of course, you don't need to, you don't necessarily need to know how to do maths because you're not going to be doing one plus one or two plus two, or doing algebra or whatever it is that we did in maths back in school. All you need to do is to be able to use some tools, right? We're in a tool-based, you know, world. You need to be able to use Excel, Power BI, Tableau, SQL, to name a few, right? Of course, there are so many more complicated data analysis tools, but you don't need to learn these tools to start your career. I know a lot of people that probably they joined, a, I mean, I don't know, they joined another program and they're like, I've been trying to learn Python and because of that, I can't launch my, I've done about five trainings, but because I'm not so good at Python yet, I can't launch my data analysis career. While we have a lot of, you can see how many data analysis success stories are called by there you know these people can't use python and they're getting data analysis jobs you know back to back this is not to say you would not learn python or you cannot learn python but it's not a prerequisite for you to start start with you know the most basic then you can get a job tomorrow and they're even willing to train, train you on python willing to train you on r willing to train you on this but the thing is that if you can pull through this and learn excel probably interview definitely you'd ask, also be able to learn whatever it is that comes your way because in this market it's not a market of learn and dump what your learning journey is a market of continuous development you need to continue to justify your promotion justify you know, your relevance in wherever it is you get a job so it's a continuous learning environments so who can take this course right anybody that is looking to acquire in demand skills in data analysis regardless of your role are you an accountant you want to become a finance analyst this is the course for you are you an hr person you want to explore hr analytics reward analyst compensation analyst people analytics kind of role this so whatever it is that your role is back home that's why i said already before that you already have you know the transferable skills. What you are gaining here is the technical skills. Even though here as well, we don't just stop at the technical you and help you to also develop and enhance your skills through our group projects where you collaborate with other stakeholders and present to senior stakeholders as well. So you get to pick up, you know, very good skills in presentation, you know, collaboration, teamwork, stakeholder management. You get to work on projects where sometimes you might not, you might have difficult stakeholders to deal with. This would help you to answer questions about difficult stakeholders, right, at interviews. It will help you to, you know, to own your experience, to be able to talk about situations, scenarios, because you actually experience them. So if you're an entry level person that does not have any experience at all, this is the one for you as well. You know, if you're someone who wants to gain analytical skills, skills, right, to stand out in your different profession, either project management, business analysis. We have a lot of people, Steph, that get jobs after, on our business analysis and project management bootcamp and still come back to come and learn data analysis because this is an analytical world. If as a professional, you know, you don't, you don't even have plan to learn anything. I would say learn analytical skills. Right. So if you're a mid-level professional as well, looking to transition to another career path, right? Data analysis, the best thing, the good thing I love about data analysis is that you can always add it to your current role and form a new role out of that. Right. I'm an accountant, right? Or I would say I studied accounting back in school. I don't like to call myself an accountant because I don't even like debits and credits, really. Right. So I studied accounting back in school. I'm a chartered accountant. However, I've never, I don't really, I don't, I've never loved Bits and credits. So my current role, right, is as a senior finalist in the bank in the UK. You know, and how, how did I get this role? It's through my ability to use skills like Excel, Power BI, Tableau, SQL. I get that, you know, that got me that. So a combination of my accounting background or knowledge as well as my analytical skills is what to be a senior finance analyst right right now and that can be you as well we have success you can, you can see from the success stories i read as well we've got pricing analysts we've got 
You know, so the good thing is that you, everybody don't need to come out and start applying for data analysis role. You can come out and apply for roles that are relevant to your previous background as well. That's what I love about you know the data analysis bootcamp. So what do you learn in our um, RKY um, data analysis bootcamp, right? You get to learn Excel from basic to advanced, Power BI, Tableau. If you go to our LinkedIn, you see very beautiful dashboards that were built from by our students who had zero experience as well originally. And now they can do very sophisticated analysis, index and match, VLOOKUP, pivot tables, you know, dashboards and the likes, you know. So also you get an introduction to Python, you get an introduction to SSIS, you know, you get an introduction to our tricks as well, which is also an in-demand, you know, um, tool as well. The so other soft skills you get, you get to work under pressure on your group projects, you get team management, collaboration, emotional intelligence, stakeholder management, problem solving, presentation. These are things you also gain. So that's what makes our bootcamp stand. It's not like, okay, we just give you projects, go and work on projects. You also get to present this to stakeholders. You get to bring out insights, right, and advice management on the best way to go you know, based on the data sets that you have with you. So these are data analysis related success stories. We've got strategy and data analysts. You know, we've got civil service role after data analysis bootcamp finance analysts in Canada. We've got, um, yeah, patient access coordinator after data analysis bootcamp, commercial finance analyst, you know, <clears throat> Two visa sponsorship jobs with the NHS, thanks to the RKY Data Analysis Bootcamp, data analyst role with a top UK firm. So these are just a few, you know, data analysis related um, success stories. Right. So what are the potential career paths you can explore? From data analysis, right? We've got a wide range of them, to be honest. The core ones would be the the obvious one, data analyst, data scientist, data engineer, business intelligence analyst. And then we've got other career paths. You just, I mean, I want us to do an exercise. Can you add like analysts to your current role and drop what you would get in the chat box? Let's do, let's, let's have a little laugh and let's see how feasible it is for you to add analytical skills to what you already have and form a role out of it. So for, anyway, from my screen here, while I wait for you, for you to drop your responses, I've got finance analyst, market analyst, marketing analyst, insights analyst, operations analyst. So I'm going to go to the chat box to see, you know, the wonderful contributions that you guys have from that. OK, so we've got public health analyst. To be honest, there's actually a success story we've got that is actually a public geospatial public health analyst, something, something. So yes, it's a very feasible one for you to have that kind of role. You know, so all you need to do is to add data analysis, I'm sure, to the public health, which you already have. And then, you know, so data analyst, finance analyst, good one. Credit analyst, yeah, good one. Production analyst, finance analyst, product analyst. These are actually very feasible and real roles. Mental health analyst, accounts analyst, market analyst, care assistance analyst. <laughs> okay, that's a funny one. <laughs> okay, someone says music analyst. Okay. I'm hearing that for the first time. Research analyst. No, research analysts actually exist, you know. But yes, yes, yes. Nice one. Good to know that you guys are, you know, following and you guys are with me, you know, and enjoying, you know, the session. Educational analysts. Thank you for that. We've got behavior for that person that says, um, Sales analyst. Okay, so let's go back to uh, right. So what's the ten training perks? Okay, eligibility for visa sponsorship. There's no need to say that you know data analysis is actually one of the roles where you can get visa sponsorship in. You know, as you can see, just um yes. Yeah, so this is the code three five three nine. If you actually get, you know, you can see on the shortage. Um, you can see on the skilled worker occupation list. We've got, you know data analysts on there. So if you are actually looking for a role that would give you potential for visa sponsorship, right, um, data analysis is one of them. What's the training perks? Virtual classes, that's real life classes, not recordings, access to our LMS for up to 12 months, real world life projects, interview preparation, web portfolio, weekly drop-in session. So because we know that data analysis is a skill that is not, you know, easy for you to just like sit down, watch and look, right? So we have 
this extra support that we provide, which we call the weekly drop in session that allows you to learn classes old Saturday, Sunday, 5 to 7 p.m. So you learn, right? Then the videos get recorded within 48 working hours. You practice and then you come to the weekly drop in session to get a one to one response to block you experienced while you were practicing what you learned isn't this like very nice so we have this drop session twice a week as well thursday evenings 6 to 8 p.m saturday afternoons 1 to 3 p.m this is voluntary and this is additional this gives you that personal touch to get personal responses to your questions right classes um lasts for 10 weeks Right, and yeah, so what are the competencies you gain? You'll be able to extract data, visualize data, build dashboards, you know, um, conduct business intelligence, you know, analyze data with Excel and SQL, extract data with SQL, visualize data with Power BI and Tableau and other soft skills as well. Right, so you also get to work on the project, right, where you present, you know, to gain practical work experience from the beginning to the end is all practical, really. So here are some of the dashboards I said the other time that our students have built, you know, and you can see beautiful dashboards that they built even with zero experience. You as well will be able to do this by the time you are done with the bootcamp. So you can see that they build these dashboards and they share on their LinkedIn page, right? So what's the value, you know, of um this training so if you look at this is just few of even the um what you would get the value right of the training is nothing less than 1500 pounds however and this is the um schedule as well right so we'll start with excel and then so the next quote starts 28th of april so you've seen the value nothing less than 1500 pounds however right we are offering and you know a discount that brings it down to 599 pounds and you can still pay in three installments this is the only course that you can still pay three installments for and that's because the course is starting in april so if you are in the uk or if you are you know in outside of africa you know the fee is 599 pounds right so pay your first installment you know, today to secure your slots. If you're also in Nigeria, because I think I had one or two people introduce themselves as being from Nigeria, you can drop a message to this WhatsApp number to get, you know, what um, the discounted amounts for Nigerian residents are. Okay, so we've got a special guest who is here today to share with us briefly, you know, a journey on the RKY bootcamp right so please um admin please drop the account details for people to secure their slots right so you secure your slot with as little as 199 pounds if you're interested in data analyst i had a lot of you <laughs> okay so i still have some responses football analysts right so start your journey to becoming a football analyst by securing your slots so admin please drop the account details and the payments links for people to secure their slots right in the books right so if we get to i mean i'm tempted to offer a special discount for one-off payments and i will announce that before the end of this session however that's only if we get to 100 people before the end of this session we have 77 currently so please drop the links in your groups get your friends and families to join and then probably we can even enjoy further discounts from this 599 if you're paying a one-off fee right but i will announce that so we said I see that we get to 100 um, attendees, right? So we've got a special guest today who has come back to share a journey and to encourage you guys on your journey as a data analyst. Please confirm if you can still see my screen. And if you can still hear me, so we've got Ruth. I'm going to allow her to introduce herself. She's a technical reporting analyst with World Pay FIS. She's an alumni of RKY and she's eager to encourage you guys today by sharing a journey. She will just she'll be sharing, you know, with us in just about you know five, 10 minutes. Ruth, I don't know if you're there. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Cool. So thank you for you know thanks for honoring you know my invite thanks for coming back to talk to us we can't wait to hear from you so please 
good. Um, I feel so honored to be here. Hi, everyone. I'm so sorry. My video is, um, you know, having issues. I've been trying to fix it before um, the meeting started, but I've not been able to. So I'm sorry about that. Um, hi. So like I said, I, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I spoke to IKY and I, I said I would be, you know, glad if I would be given the opportunity to share my, you know, my success story, my journey and all of that. Um, I remember chatting RKY some months back. I think that was around February. I when I when I mean, yeah, February. And I was, I mean, I'm an ex-banker, so I had experience in, in banking sector for like seven years. And um, I wanted to do compliance, actually, and she had I advised me that since I have a journey in, in data that I should rather pick data. And it's been very, very um, amazing journey because I had a couple of other other um, boot camps. I joined other boot camps. I won't mention their names. And this RKY is a bit different because, you know, you have weekly meetings apart from your trainings you also it's like you getting stuck in being a data analyst for the next 10 weeks you're not going anywhere and one thing i've realized in life is what you do daily gets um gets you get used to it you know if you if you are not used to using a tool if you keep trying it you know monday maybe after the training on sunday you try to you know do your assignment you try to go through the videos and then on Thursdays you're coming for dropping sessions you're do using the tool again and then Saturday morning you're coming for dropping sessions using the tool again and Saturday evening you're coming for your training so it went on, on on like that and like that like that and I was able to you know get focused for the first time in class I get focused ask questions you know it's a very very extensive it was a very very extensive class you know you have um, your trainer always asking questions like, as, "Is anyone following me?" And then you have to give give response to him. If you if you do not understand anything, he's always there to explain to you. So it's been on and on like that until we. I mean, you have access to assignments, and then you have projects to do. So I was just focused. I think the first thing you need to understand about this is you need to have a drive that uh, I really want to get in this sorted i really want to be in this space because it comes with a lot of dedication and then you know focus you have to believe in yourself you have to uh, you, you have to put in the effort actually you have to put in effort so i was always doing my assignment i think that was where i knew that i had gotten it right with this one i'd always do, uh, doing my assignment i was always in dropping sessions and uh, dropping sessions are always almost the same hours in fact, it's not almost, it's, it's like the same hours with your um, training. So it's like you having to do the same thing for for straight two months and a half. So I was always uh, doing my assignment, you know, getting feedbacks and all of that. And now this is where the, the work doesn't stop at when you um, do your trainings. It stops, it starts when you when you finally get your CV optimized. I mean, that's another thing that they are good at. The day I got my CV optimized, that day I uploaded it on LinkedIn. I got like two calls immediately. Now, what what I would have gotten a job earlier was because, but I was still a student then, so I had visa issues. Oh, you're still a student. Oh, get back to us when you're done. Oh, get back to us when you have your post study. We cannot sponsor. So that was a bit uh, of a struggle as I then. But when I finished and I was able to communicate that at I mean, I'm able to work full time. I started having um, calls for interviews and all of that. And one thing RKY would do for you also is to take you through interview session. I never had confidence. I'm going to tell you for a fact. I never had any confidence before I um, before I joined RKY. I mean, yeah, joined RKY because even as a master's student in data analytics, I just felt like I don't think I could defend my master's because all you just have to do is do your assignments, nothing more. So how do I get into the industry and say, oh, I want to start something? And then they just give me the role. So it was when I was doing the training, the assignments, you know, uh, you do project, you do project presentation, you give your analysis on a particular project, you, you give recommendations to the industry to see how they can improve. So that's enough for me to, you know, build my confidence around. So when it was time for interview pre uh, preparation, 
RQI also took us through the uh, scenarios, you know, how to um, use AI to get expectations from your recruiters, you know, because you have to also create a storyline for yourself when you get the CV. You don't just get CV and then X because um, companies also know that people get their CV optimized. So they want to be sure that you are able to defend your CV. So that is why you do your own personal research. You know, you have to come up with a storyline, you know, when you're giving your, um, your, your, we are, uh, you're introducing yourself to your recruiter and they say, tell me about yourself, walk me through your CV. And so you have to also use, I mean, I will not, everybody knows ChatGPT, so then let me just try to hide on that AI. <laughs> so you use the ChatGPT, you know, paste all the job requirements on ChatGPT and then tell ChatGPT to align it with your CV. And then so ChatGPT will come up with a story and then you could tell ChatGPT to also um, 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 tell you the expectation of the recruiter from that their, their job description and then ChatGPT will tell you that you do research also you know what I what based what I basically do when I have interviews is it's always like I'm having um, I'm doing exam I go to their page I go to Google, I do research about the organization, I do research about interview questions because trust me, there's someone somewhere that had done interview with this company before and had gone back to give feedback. So you would always see uh, um, this when I joined this company, these are the questions, likely interview questions. So that was what I did. I kept on doing that. I would, I would, I would not lie to you. I got a lot of unfortunately. So trust me, you're going to get that. But I think the more you get that, the more it, I mean, it gets you ready for the main, the main, the main role. So when World Pay came, I was I was ready, like because I done, I done, a couple of interviews that looked like I was going to get a job. You know, from from I wouldn't mention their names were big organizations. So when World Pay came, I just did what I'm supposed to do. I do research. I just check online. Write, write, write come up with different um, in interview questions and then come up with it. Because when you're, when you're attending, when you are responding to an interview question, you, you use a star method, you know, scenario, task, action, and, you know, recommendation. So when they ask you a question, you come up with a scenario that so you won't even tell them. You just come up with a storyline. Now, when I was working in this industry, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then so that was how I was able to um, nail it. Some companies would actually give you data sets to work on, you know, to test your tech skills. I had uh, I had a couple of opportunities or uh, situations like that too. Thank God for RKY during the class session. I was I was the one who presented for my group. So I had to um you know leverage on that um knowledge. So I did the data set, I did the analysis and I made presentation, but I still got unfortunately, but it was a learning point for me. So um if you're joining RKY, trust me, I don't like two, three boot camps. And I can tell you for a free for a fact that this is the best because you have your videos in beats. So when you when you are um when you, after the after the training, maybe Saturday, Sunday, then on Monday, if you are less busy, you have like one hour, you could just take two of the courses and then you know do 30 minutes. Some they are just some some are 35 minutes, 15 minutes. So you could just quickly take two. While you're less busy, then you go back later. So the fact that it is not a long stretch of videos like other boot camps makes it easy for me to always go back to and then look quickly, watch and then repractice and practice. Um, so yeah, that's basically my success journey. And trust me, I I just resumed and it's been it's been very very um, productive because. I, everything. I mean, one of the questions that I inter when when the interviewer. I, I mean, I remember Arco. I mentioned in it during our interview preparation class. And what you do is when you when you check the job description and then you add light. I light possible questions. So when the guy, when the lady it was a lady, she asked me, "Walk me through your CV." I just used the method that uh, Arco. I told me that everything that is in the job description. You have to let it align with how you're introducing yourself. So after I did my work through your CV introduction, the lady said, I don't even think I have any question to ask you anymore because you already <laughs> you already have uh, you already answered our question. However, because of uh, you know audit and all of that, we still have to ask you question. And that was when I knew I'd gotten the job. And so all of your experiences and your past 
um, company or like, it, it won't go to waste because that's where you transition into, you know, you transfer all those skills when you're talking, you know, even though you have to optimize your CV, you optimize even when you are giving your response to interview. It might not be the same role, but you made it, you are going to sound like you've done the work using that role in an analytical way. So um, that's basically my thank journey, and um, I'm still thank glad you. that I'm here. <laughs> Thank, thank, you, you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You know, you've given them free interview paper. All the things I'm supposed to get at the other side, you've given them everything free. You see, so that's just, I mean, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much, um, Ruth. Congratulations once again on your success story. You know, I'm really um, happy that, you know, because she's one of those that were very determined. And that's what always makes the difference between people that get their success stories earlier and those that get it much later. People that put in the extra effort, people that own their success, people that own their job journey right always learn their success story first i was part of a journey from start you know i was part of a journey from start like every of our interviews she will come she's almost you know she's almost always almost there and then she'll come again and say i think she just she doesn't even used to come back <laughs> when she's almost <laughs> landing she'll come and then she'll just appear again but when she came and she said ah this is the final one and i was so happy I mean, you can see the company is not just oh my god <laughs> sorry <laughs> No, because yeah. I remember one time I told you, ah, I got another interview with this company. They're asking me this queue. What do you think? I do not understand. You know, they come up with another name, even though you you do not understand. You you actually know it, but you know they 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 reform just like you said, process in, improvement. Some of us do not know what process improvement. Like we have the skill, but you know they fine tune it. So when they, ah, I had to come back to you, and you, you explain to me. I said, ah ah, Abba. <laughs> I know this thing now, so I have to go and do research on it. So thank you, Arke. Well, you're always available for, and that's one thing you, you, I mean, you should appreciate. I have, I've had a couple of boot camps where there are heroes. They don't, they don't even say to you. You just do your thing, but she would always be available for you, even at work. She will respond to you. So it's a good place to start with. Trust me, guys. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you, Ruth. Thank you for, you know, making our time to come and share your journey, you know, because that's also, you know, giving back and, you know, is also something that we don't take for granted as well. So there you have it, guys. For those that want to enroll for data analysis, do not waste time. This is the best place to be. You've seen um, everything she explained. She's even gone in her head to explain the details of what she gained in those sessions, self, you know, which is, I'm sure some people will pick this here. I think there was a success story somebody shared and this person said, I enrolled, I attended all the sessions you were doing since I enrolled. I think she was supposed to do the session two months after. She enrolled like three months before and she attended all the sessions and guess what? She actually landed the success stories. That's to tell you that the strategies we preach and use and mention here, they actually work. Right. So thank you, Ruth. Thank you so much. And um, we appreciate Please let's, you know, let's appreciate Ruth. Thank you. And congrats on your success story as well. So for those that are, uh, you know, all the football analysts and um, what do we, what did we call them now? Football analysts, you know, care assistance analysts and all the likes we have in the house. Do not waste time, secure your slot now. You know, we get sold out, you know, pretty fast and, you know, we don't want you to miss this opportunity to transition and also land your success story as well. So moving on to projects management and business analysis. So for those that are interested in projects management and business analysis, can I get an hey or hi from you? Hope, I've not, hope we've not succeeded in converting everybody to data analysis with root success story like this. Anyways, let me still see if I've got people who are projects manager, uh, managers and business analysts in the house. So if you are project manager, uh, if you are either interested in projects management or business analysis, I'll give you a brief of what the road is about as well. What do projects managers and business analysts do? In fact, let me even take it together with Scrum Masters and Product Owners as well, because these are all products and projects related roles, right? So these are roles that, you know, are involved with, you know, um, thank you for, you know, yes, yeah, for letting me know that I still got projects managers and business analysts in the house. Right, so, so pro what do projects managers do? Projects managers, you know, they um, manage resources, manage, you know, resources and manage a project towards to achieve successful um, delivery, 
right so what do business analysts do business analysts you know gather requirements to understand the projects or the products that want to be built you know to have a very good understanding of it so they can translate it so they're like the intermediary between the business and the the engineers or the you know those that would implement the projects right so business analysts are solution providers they understand and translate requirements you know the elicit requirements and what what are requirements requirements are just what you said you were what's like the project itself in you know like okay i want this project or this product you want to build to have these features to solve this problem you know so those are the requirements they will ask you questions either through an interview or through a survey or through a facilitation session to have a very good understanding because the thing is as an intermediary right if you don't understand the products or the project you want to implement properly there's a risk right what's the risk that who can guess what the risk would be if the business analyst is not good enough or does not actually understand their role or does not do their role properly? What's the risk that can happen or what can happen to the projects? The project will fail. The project is likely to fail, right? And the project is likely not to re delayed projects. Thank you for that. The project is likely not to reflect, you know, the expectations of thank you bad products exactly so you can end up building a bad product because if the owner or the sponsor or the client or the business have said i want a solution that solves the problems of that solve this particular problem right i want it to have this feature you should have a search button you should have you know it should be able to um allow people see online real time the applications you should be able to do this do that and you miss out some of these requirements right either because you did not do your documentation properly or because you did not even ask the right questions right by the time you are translating this to the engineers or the developers or the solutions architects that are going to implement the projects right you are likely you know so of course not that you're likely what they would also you know what they would um, build or what they would implement would not align with the expectations of right the business or the client or the sponsor right so that's the role of a business analyst so business analysts also have to have solutions mindsets you know they have to have very good stakeholder management skills very good communication skills because they're going to be having lots of conversations with the sponsor with the business you know with users of the product potential users of the products you know current users of the process that's if it's process um, improvement you know and then projects managers manage the entire projects right making sure that budgets you know what we are supposed to spend is what we are spending we are not spending more than that the scope of the projects you know we are delivering within scope if the person has said i don't want to i don't want to have this feature you don't want to add a feature they don't want you don't want to go beyond scope right the quality of course of the project has to be top notch you know the budget has to be within budgets within scope you know and within the time frame, if they've said, I want this product to be ready by October because I want to do sales, I want to do this, you have to, it was the point of, you know, the products being ready after that, right? When there's a deadline or a timeline that has been agreed, right? So that is what project managers and pro, pro business analysts, you know, that's what they do. So what is a project or what is a product and what are the kind of rules, right? So there are different types of projects or products. Projects could be construction, projects could be a process improvement project, projects could be, you know, migration, data migration projects, it could be web development it could be software development it could be crm portal it could be you know transformation projects you know it could be major and acquisition it could be anything really so that's those are the examples of what you know however the methodology will remain the same you start from the initiate stage to the define stage you know to the different stages that you know that you have right so and what are products as well products could be the same thing it could be tangible products it could be um 
you know, software development products and all the like um, IT products as well. You know, the good thing is that business analysts and project managers don't only work within just the project lifecycle. Business analysts work on a process improvement. So you see a lot of business analysts role that could be process analysts, you know, process improvement analysts, transformation analysts, right? So it's not only projects, projects. Sometimes it could be process, it could be process, um, process improvements, right? And sometimes it could be products. So you could all sometimes find a business analyst in a product in a product um, led company as well, right? You could also find a project manager as well in that environment, right? So, what's um, how is the structure of our training? So this is really a four months training, right? We have about seven weeks of classes covering project management, business analysis, and PMO. So what does the PMO entail? So the PMO is more like the document reports writing you know parts of the project management um, role which you know we have roles like PMO analyst PMO lead you know PMO PMO itself you know out there as well right so several weeks of classes we don't do crash courses here we don't take a the one is you know you're going to have Saturday and Sunday of classes for seven weeks three weeks you know in project management three weeks in business analysis one week in PMO after that we'll move on to the work experience bits where you're going to be working on a client's project so RKY has got subsidiaries that get projects from clients to build different software solutions to build different um, solutions as well right so this would happen for two months after that we we'll move to the career support session so our career support session is like a week long of sessions where we bring different stakeholders to come and talk to us on everything related to translating everything we've lens in the past three months or four, three plus months into industry, into interview preps, right? So you get to learn scenario, how to answer scenario based questions, possible scenarios you could get, how to dissect an interview, um, how to dissect um, a job description on that business analysis of projects management, you know, doing agile versus being agile. You learn a lot of different, um, you learn different things that are related to landing your first role, right? You also get to learn visa sponsorship strategies to explore, you know, we bring in different experts out there, right? We do your CV for you as well within this bootcamp. We do your LinkedIn for you as well. You know, you get to work to get practical, you know, work experience. You get to also get weekly interview prep as well, you know, which has actually helped, you know, quite a number of people as learned their success story since we started it. We've had a lot of people coming with their job description. Oh, I've got a project manager. I've got this phone screening. Uh, there's nothing as good as having a place where you can always join, right? I mean, at the end of it, because I have a lot of people that have joined boot camps in different places. They still come to pay and book for interview prep, right? With RKY when they have the interview prep. However, when you are part of the RKY family, there's at least you know that uh, next week Thursday I will have a meeting. I will join the interview prep meeting and I'll be able to get you know support for my upcoming interview. And you can join this as many times as possible till you land you know a job that's one of the benefits of being you know part of our and then we have the monthly one where it's not just about interview prep what is going on in the industry okay uk has immigration laws like i said earlier for this month we are bringing in an immigration consultant so if you have not secured your slots and you want to if you want to enjoy this february um um this thing secure your slots before the end of february so that you can also you know benefit from this alumni events right so we're going to bring in an immigration consultant to come and talk to us about what our options are in the current uk immigration um space or in the in the yeah oh that's aside so who can take this course right so we've got aspiring project managers or business analysts professionals looking to switch you know more impactful and meaningful to work on you know degree older seeking practical work experience we've got a lot of people that study project management but they're not confident they don't have that experience even we have people that are certified they have pmp they have prince 2 foundation but they don't have that practical work experience right so they join our boot camp to be able to actually um own their experience to understand and actually practice what they have learned right anyone who wants to position themselves for visa sponsorship these are the one of the areas where you know we have quite a number of people who have gotten so, um visa sponsorship as well anybody who wants to enhance their career prospects and earning potential this is one of the fields as well that has a high earning potential so professionals and entrepreneurs as well who want to actually learn project management skills to take their business to the next 
you know, level as well. So what are the potential career paths and the average salary for this? There are a wide range of rules. To be honest, every other day I get something, I hear something new. When my, um, our alumni come with their success story, you know, to share their success story, I always hear new, new roles from transformation manager, you know, to change coordinator, to project coordinator, to project support officer, project lead, you know, change manager, change analyst, automation analyst, you know, applications analyst, systems analyst, you know, there's no limits to the kind of rules. And this is one of one one um extra this thing I would drop for you that when trying to search for rules, sometimes don't search with titles because you might be missing out on some titles that are also the same rule but will not come out in your search. Sometimes use your skills to search. If you are it Data analyst, for instance, instead of putting data analyst rules and just limit yourself to that, why not put Excel, Power BI, and Tableau jobs? You'll be surprised what will come out of Google. You'll be surprised what will come out of LinkedIn. Same with this. Put ClickUp. If it's ClickUp, you can use. Put Jira. Put this. See, and then look at the kind of jobs that come out. You see that some, some of them, what you'll be in the job descriptions are things you can do. Sometimes use skills, not just even, you know, use transformation, business transformation. Use things that you know that you have. ISO 27,000, if that's something you have, put that in your in your search button and see the results that it gives you, right? So that's that about, you know, the project management and business analysis bootcamp. It's also going on a discount for 5.99 pounds. You can pay in two installments as well because the training starts March 16 for the next cohort. You can pay 50% today to secure your slots and then balance by March ending so do not waste time so i'm going to quickly take the scrum master product owner because it has a very very similar um framework right as the business analyst and project management right so it's also a is also a four months program seven weeks of live classes across scrum master product manager and product owner so i've been getting a lot of people that don't know much about you know the products manager product owner landscape in the uk is actually is actually a very high in demand role in the uk and that's because a lot of companies are going lean a lot of startups are springing up here and they're building new products and they need a products manager because products managers have the skills of both the project manager and the business analyst because a project product manager would you know uh, manage the life cycle of a product as well as be able to do you know um prd products requirement um what's prd right so um that's what um business analysts also do they do prototyping as well they do wireframes and all that that business analysts do so a lot of companies that are going lean are actually favoring the products management um space we also have the scrum master this is also a very popular you know um, role in the UK, right? So who can take this course? Anybody that is interested in, you know, understanding what it takes to be a product owner or a scrum master, someone that wants to understand or have a work experience in a product-led environment. So the environment of our products-related boots um, is different from the environment of our projects related. So it's more like, you know, that's a product-led in which they will do user research first, they will do market analysis, they will interview potential users before they go on to implement or to start um, the projects using the agile methodology, right? However, the project management and business analysis is a waterfall and agile we use we use the hybrid while in the scrum master product owner is complete agile and scrum that is used it's a very interesting one to be honest right and you know if you want to position yourself for visa sponsorship if you want to increase your any potential the scrum master and product owner roles are very high paying roles and that's why they are not so common out there because you know they are very high paying right so if you are someone a degree older that is seeking practical work experience if you are someone that already understand projects management or you've done a bootcamp project but you want to understand what it means you know to work in a product-led environment i would say this is for you also just like the project management you build an innovative product from scratch as well right to be able to put in your portfolio and you know to stand out at interviews so what are the potential roles that you can apply for under the scrum we've got the scrum master agile coach program manager agile delivery manager implementation manager release manager release engineer and the likes on products related roles we've got product owner product manager technical products manager development manager um, and you know the likes as well and you can see that none of the salaries rights are low in range so what are the tools you will learn both on product or project delivery right you learn base camp you know you would not only learn you would use base camp right 
that you use ClickUp, you know, Teams, you know, Jira, you learn, you use Balsamic, Visio, Figma, you know, and the likes as well. Well, so what's the schedule of these courses, right? For the project management, you know, we are starting March 16th, same with the Scrum Master. We'll start with business analysis on March 16th. You know, after three weeks, we'll move on to project management April 6th and then move to the work experience part April 29th. For Scrum Master as well, we'll start March 16th, move to product owner, product manager April 6th and then work experience April 29th. So these two courses are actually starting March 16th. And you know the best part? These courses are courses, are standalone courses where you can that you can get for nothing, you know, less than maybe 700, 600 individually. However, in all our boot camps, because we know that it's about what more can you bring to the table, we try to make sure that you have that hybrid situation. So we'll make it a two in one, you know, whereby you learn two skills such that in the market out there, when you get to the market, you can actually compete effectively. If it looks like project management is not doing it for you, you can always move to business analysis because what you actually not only learn, so you also practice and join all the meetings and can deliver the deliverables of a business analyst. So what are the training perks of seven weeks of um, expert-led classes, work experience, you know, CV and LinkedIn optimization, career support, mentorship and interview prep, access to community of projects managers and, and business analysts. You know, you get a UK accredited globally recognized certificate. You can join from anywhere in the world and you learn in demand tools and methodologies and you get to position yourself for visa sponsorship. So what's the potential for these roles for visa sponsorship? You can see on the screen, right, the um, screenshots from the government's website, right? And you can see a couple of success stories we have as well. You know, that's um, visa sponsorship related. So we can see business analysts, thanks, um, landed multiple business analyst roles, thanks to RKYPMB Boots Camp, landed projects coordinator role with visa sponsorship in a tech company. I landed a visa sponsorship role as a scrum master. I landed a senior business analyst, analyst role, thanks to RKY careers. Right. So, what's the training value? Based on everything I've said, from the certification to the classes to the experience to the reference to the CV and LinkedIn to the weekly interview prep that is non ending, right? To come to being a member of the RKY um, community where you get to enjoy monthly webinars that are career elevating, right? The, the value is nothing less than 2000 500 pounds. However, you also get to enjoy it at just 599 pounds. You can pay in two installments, secure your slots with 50% this February, secure your slot with 50% today and balance up by end of March. If you are joining from Nigeria, we have, I think, one or two people joining from Nigeria, you can send us a DM to get the Nigerian residence discounts as well. So these are the WhatsApp numbers. If you also want to secure your slots, you have one or two questions, please chat these numbers right away. They're active and waiting for you to take your, um, to secure your slots and to take, you know, your um, payments. Last quote, we actually had to stop taking is taking enrollment at some point because we actually, I mean, sold out and we had, you know, and the thing is we like to keep our classes, you know, um what would i say we like to keep our classes um in a what would i say i won't say small but you know we like to make sure that we are able to still give that personal touch to each of our students as well so secure your slots now before it is sold out right so let's see if you know if if we are up to 100 and so i can and now, oh, my special announcements. I'm not making the special announcement. It looks like, it looks like we are not going to, we are not, we are not sharing the link with our friends and family. So how can I join your weekly interview prep? Very easy. Enroll for any of our boot camps, and you get to enjoy a weekly interview prep. After you know, so is CV optimization a different service? It's a different service. However, you get to enjoy it for free, as part of the boot camp itself. Right. So. So yes, so we have a new launch, a new product that we call the Tech Career Accelerator, right? So this is targeted at people that have little experience already or who have joined boot camps here and there and didn't have a good experience, but they already have the theoretical knowledge. They want to just gain practical work experience or they've worked on the project before, but they are still in the job market. They don't want to forget everything they've learned. They want to work on another product or they want to work in another 
another product in another environment so just it can continue to like you know keep their experience intact or probably you are in a role that you are not happy about but you know you don't see the way out and you don't want to just stay idle or you're on the care visa you are you are but you've done projects management or you want to do projects you've done projects management training but it looks like you are still in the markets you want to still continue to keep your experience fresh so that when you land the job you won't struggle you know you can join our tech career accelerator program to like gain practical work experience on this tech career accelerator program you enjoy everything that comes with the bootcamp apart from the life classes because we you are supposed to have had previous theoretical knowledge in this field so i mean so this is for people that have you know knowledge right not people that have zero experience right so you can see the price for this on the on the distance. If you are paying one off for this program, it's just three ninety nine pounds, right? And you also get to enjoy CV optimization, LinkedIn optimization. You get to continue to be part of our alumni. You get to get to weekly interview prep as well, just like every other person, right? So it's currently on the discount for three ninety nine pounds, and if you are paying in installments, it's four forty five. You can pay in two installments, fifty percent now and balance by end of. Uh, March. So you get to join the next project, which is starting 3rd of March. So if you want to join, you want to gain practical work experience, you're already certified, you have BCS, you have this, or you have Prince 2, but you, you feel that you need practical work experience, right? Or you've gotten practical work experience somewhere, but you're not, you still want more, right? This is the program for you. So it's going to be a three months program. You will have the project on body March 2nd, that's next week, Saturday, actually. And then you get to deliver the project either as a business analyst, product owner, product manager, project manager, or scrum master. Right. So um, I plan to give us a sneak peek into our live projects before. I don't know if we still have enough time for that. I wanted to take us to, you know, I wanted to take us to um base come to show us you know how our projects have been implemented in the last couple of months right but i will just go take a couple of questions you know in the chat box if we have questions questions regarding payment questions at all so please drop your questions so can i take the course while working because i also work weekend yes you can take the course however right however you know all classes are recorded our classes are weekends for it depends on the one for data is five to seven for projects management and scrum is four to six for the first seven weeks all classes are recorded and available on our lms which has proven to be very very instrumental to a lot of people landing their success stories we have a lot of people as well who are in school or who are but the thing is they go back for instance i shared a success story on the page last week of someone that got a job with amazon right and she was saying that she didn't even believe it until they paid her a welcome on board fee pay allowance of seven thousand five hundred dollars i said wow that's a good one seven thousand five hundred dollars of welcome on board i mean that's who doesn't want to work in amazon or who doesn't want to work in all these big tech companies that will pay you this kind of welcome on board money you know <laughs> but yes um so for the reason why i mentioned her is because when she finished the boost campus well, i think she was doing a dissertation but she she tried to participate in the project and all that and then after she did this right she took her time, went back to the LMS, watched all the video. She said that the video on the LMS for interview prep and everything, that she, I need to put the value on top of it in terms of how useful it was for her landing an Amazon job. So this can be you as well, right? So is I mean, it's always a tough one. I won't say join if you are too busy because I won't say, I mean, don't join because you are busy. I would also say that you need to make sacrifice, you know, to make sure you participate so that you can get the value out of it. So how do you cope with the course while working? So classes are weekends, right? But you can also catch up on the LMS, right? And the good thing about the data analysis, for instance, is that we also have weekly sessions where you can, cause that one is a bit practical, so you need to be hands on. So you can, if you are working weekends, you can join dropping session on Thursday to catch up after your practice, right? And I think that has worked for quite a number of people as well. So I've been proceeded for data analysis. Can I switch to projects management and business analysis? Well, if the classes has not started, yes, you can switch. Okay. 
All right. Um, I have done BAPM data analysis and I don't know what, what to do. And I got the sponsorship as a support worker. I need help. This success stories is giving me pressure. <laughs> okay. Uh, does this fee include certification exams like for Prince too? No. Certification exams is not part of anything we have said. Probably if certification was exam was there, it would be more to also be more expensive again. But this is not a, an exam preparation course. Although you get a certificate of completion, you know, that is CPD accredited. We are also listed on the UK government's website as a UK learning provider. So if you go to the UK government website and you search for UK RLP, you see RKY Consulting Services, right, that we are listed as a recognized UK learning provider, you know, in the UK. So that would reflect on your certificate as well. You didn't say anything about data protection. I have a law background. So I'm coming there. If you are for UK compliance or Excel or PowerPoint, I'm still coming there. We are taking it one after the other. Right. So what contacts do we need to set up installments? Can I? Contact I had ghosted me was working towards March. Hey, sorry about that, Christiana. We lost one of our WhatsApp numbers, you know, um, I think, yeah, earlier. And maybe that's the number you're still trying to reach. Right. But the numbers were presented on the screen. I don't know if they are still on the screen. Okay, so for um for Dana, I mean yeah, who who, who spoke about um what's it called compliance data protection? Okay, so because of um she did my rights, I'm not going to spend too much time on live projects that I wanted to show us, you know. But the thing is that if you want to learn more about the kind of live projects we do, we have a program coming up next week. It's called the Product Demo. It's a product demo where our students, you know, so if you're someone that is interested to know or come and see what our students are actually working on on the work experience, you want to come and see what that work experience is all about, come to the Product Demo next week. It's also going to be a session like this where students will present, you know, what they built, how they build it, what was the problem statements, you know, what was the, this is their wireframe, this is their use cases, you know, and so come to the, the product demo next week to learn more about the products and the, and the process, you know, of delivering the products as well. Is there a course for product management just like data analysis? Yes, we already took that. That's the Scrum Master product management course. Right. What if I don't have up to 50% to deposit today? So, I mean, it depends on the cost you're trying to enroll for. As the project management and business analysis. You know, if it's not today. You can still pay in two installments. I had a special announcement I wanted to announce that was going to be just for today before, but we didn't get to the target, so I'm not going to announce it. I feel you can continue searching for a profession in that area that has sponsorship that you can switch. Many people are on this table. Exactly. So thank you for, I am responsible for that. So yes, for that, I'm sure that's for Vanessa that says she has done here and there. You know, So you can join the Tech Career Accelerator program if you've taken training already in this, so that you can continue to um, enhance your work experience while you search for job in that field. Right. Um, when is the next boot camp and the contacts, please? Okay, so I'm going to, dis I'm going to display the... Um, yeah, so I think, I don't know if you can see my screen, but the contact, the WhatsApp contact is on there as well. Okay, so I think they are responding as well in the chat box, right? Please, let's see the live projects. Okay, so for the live project, like I said, please make sure you don't miss the products. Product demo day next week, two o'clock as well, this time next week. So we'll be having the product demo where you get everything about the live projects and the tech career accelerator program, which is also like a live project, right? So moving on, moving on, moving on. So keep your questions coming. I'll take a break again to attend to it. So I want to talk um, briefly about. Okay, so I'm going to talk briefly about the MS Excel and PowerPoint training. So this is just if you know, if you've everything you've heard today, you love it, but you can't afford to join a bootcamp right now, you know, you should be able to afford this. 
this is a training to equip you in Excel and PowerPoint skills from basic to advanced. It's not a full boot camp, you know, so it's just a practical work. I mean, a practical experience training, you know, where you get to prepare yourself, to, regardless of your role, everybody should be able to use Excel. Right. Everybody should be able to use Excel and PowerPoints because even that there's no interview you have that they will not give you a task that has to do with presentation or that has to do with analyzing a data set. So make sure that you join this one. This this um, particular one is going, you know, is going for a discount at just seventy five pounds. It's an eight weeks program as well. It's starting March 30th. Classes old three to five p.m. as well. Right. So you need everybody needs to be able to use advanced Excel. Everybody needs to be able to creates very nice presentation on PowerPoint. I don't know that role you have uh, that you will not use PowerPoint, right? So if everything we've said today, you love it, but you are not ready to start any of the full bootcamp, start with this, get the RKY experience with this, and then you would come back, you know, to enroll for the main courses as well. That's if you have time in your hands to, you know, <laughs> to do that. Okay, so moving on to the UK compliance bootcamp, I think this is for, you know, the data protection lady, right? So We've got our UK Compliance Bootcamp that comprises of a modules in KYC, AML, GDPR, financial crime, sanctions, and data protection. So if you are someone, you know, that's, you know, have interest in becoming a KYC analyst, compliance analyst, data protection officer or analyst, data privacy analyst, anti-money laundering, you know, then this is for you. So this is a five weeks intense course that holds on Saturdays only, 4 to 6 p.m., right? And, you know, can help you transition to the compliance industry. So if you, either you are a an ex-lawyer, an ex-banker, a customer service person, someone that just wants to integrate, wants to join the banking industry or, you know, I mean, we've had a lot of people get jobs from the banking industry to the um, property industry, you know, law firms, you know, as compliance analysts, right? So compliance professionals and compliance roles are in demand. And that's because regulations are not going anywhere. You know, the more we have regulations, the more we have people that need to monitor the compliance or the adherence to these regulations, right? It offers you opportunity for career stability as well, diverse career opportunities. It's globally relevant, you know, it's competitive, it's, you know, attracts competitive compensation and, you know, um, enables you, you know, to grow professionally as well. So this is the timetable, you know, for that, you know, we've got um, KYC and AML, you know, on the 23rd. So this starting March 23rd. So you can see the schedule on the screen. We also get weekly interview preps, you know, as well. I mean, in this session, I think it's bi-weekly for this um, particular class, right? And then we also have interview prep within the bootcamp as well. In this bootcamp, we've had people land jobs such as KYC analysts, just like I mentioned earlier. I don't know if it's added on the screen. Okay, so this is also going on a special <laughs> offer as well at 5.99 pounds. The first installment has to come in, you know, before the start date, like and I mean February and then balance by mm. you know March ending oh. as well. It starts at so mm. um I don't know if I've answered your question. So but if you, if there's any question you asked that I've not answered, I'm humbly <laughs> in the chat box waiting to get your questions. Right. So Augustina, I just like um, introduced the KYC and AML one. Right. So in terms of ease of securing a job, which would you recommend projects management or products? And I'm asking because I'm interested in both. To be honest, it's hard to say because two people can take the course and, you know, I mean, there's no, it's hard to say this is the one that is the best or, you know, they, you might take the course that people on the field have not got a job, you might get a job before them, you know, so it's hard to say that this is the one that is, you know, a, that has, you know, more ease of getting a job, you know, but it depends on what your previous experience is as well and how you are able to defend, you know, the experience as well. The good thing about projects, um, they are both good to be honest. Products management as well, you know, is not as saturated as projects management. Projects management, you know, might be saturated, but there are a wide range of rules you can explore, you know, under the pro projects management kind of experience. So please, do you guys offer cybersecurity courses? Not at the moment. And that's because cybersecurity sometimes, you know, um, pose, you know, 
barrier to entry. You need to have security clearance for some cyber security jobs. You need to have lived in the UK for up to five years. And, you know, because of how sensitive the role is. Right. So how about data sciences? That's data science. So currently, I mean, the only additional that data scientists skills that data scientists need to have have is like machine learning, you know, Python and this and that. At the moment, it's not included in our data analysis bootcamp, right? Because um yeah, a lot of people don't want to learn coding and all this kind of stuff. So maybe I I mean in a few uh, months time, we we'll have a data science course, but at the moment what we have is data analysis. So projects management and scrum master. So if you're interested in our projects management course, I would say that you know if you have you want to have interest in both projects and scrum you will still experience scrum within our projects management bootcamp so i'll say enroll for the projects management business analysis because like i said we use a hybrid method to deliver we use both this um, waterfall and the agile so within the projects management bootcamp you will also get an understanding of you know the scrum methodology right you know but like I said, the Scrum Master is a high paying role, of course, less saturated, you know, are probably more competitive, but is also very much in demand. So is the compliance and KYC AML limited to UK system or other countries? So it's not limited to the UK, although, I mean, we are in the UK, of course, so, but most of the regulations that you know, guide financial institutions are actually um, international, you know, like the FATCA, you know, the GMLSG and uh, the likes, right? All right, so can we get to watch the video again? I joined late. Yes, so this this session is being recorded, you know, and would be available on our YouTube. So go to RKY Careers on YouTube. Um, admin, please drop the link to our YouTube page. Subscribe to the channel so that you can get notification when we drop this video, as well as other informative and insightful videos you know um as well okay so to my announcements right the one-off announcement you can see is not nowhere on my slide if you plan to make a one-off payment today you know between now <laughs> every say oh yes or should i not make the announcement anymore it looks like people want to the weather is the weather has changed should we stop here <laughs> OK, they said I should make it no, anyways. Don't. So this is for people that want to make one of payments and I want to make it between now and Sunday night. Right. So if you want to make one of payments for this session, you can enjoy an extra discount and, you know, enroll at 450 pounds. Right. So if you want to make a one of payments, there's a discount that I've just introduced now that's you know, so secure your slot. Admin, please drop the account number so that people would not say it's because they didn't get account number. We are not extending this. People shouldn't come to our DM on Monday to come and ask for extension for this. The one of discount payments ends Sunday nights, four fifty pounds, and after that, that's it. We are going back to our five ninety nine pounds. So even if you want to still secure your slot, you can't pay one of five ninety nine is your fee, right? I don't know. Is that good news or not? Or not good news? Please, does data scientists, data warehouse architects fall under the data analyst role? No, they are completely different roles. Data warehouse architects is different from data scientists, itself, right? There are different roles. Data analysis is data analysis. Data man database management, data warehouse architects, data scientists, artificial intelligence, machine learning are different. They require that you, they require that you are able to use more tools than what you learn in the data analysis so admin please drop the account details and the payments link drop payments link for the 450 pounds drop the payments link for the drop 450 pounds in the chat box right so the question about compliance kyc email i think i responded to it that it's not limited to the uk even though ours is designed for the uk most of the regulations that you learn or that you learn within the bootcamp exposes you to opportunities you know i'm um, beyond as well because um most of the regulators of financial institutions are international bodies like the FATCA and the likes so for the four for the for those that want to enjoy the 450 pounds one of payments that that is going to happen between now and sunday nights you know um i'll drop um let me drop the meet the payments link in the chat box so that you don't miss the opportunity this is not going to be extended this is just, you know, this is just um, 
a one-off Okay, so please drop the payments link. Let them use payments link for the 450 pounds one of discounts. Okay, so are there more questions? Because we're about to call it a day. We managed, you know, to actually, you know, talk about all the areas without, without, um, you know, spilling over. Or using too much time. So for products management, classes and Scrum Master. So it comes as a two in one. You also get to enjoy Scrum Master. I'm trying to drop the payments link. So classes start March 16th, right, for, okay, so I've just dropped the payments link for the 450 pound one-off payments for those that are asking. So for the one-off payment for Nigerian residents, please chat with the WhatsApp numbers. They will communicate what the special one-off discount is for you. Don't forget it's for one-off, no installments for that amount. Okay, so let me take more questions. I want some sort of career advice. How can I reach you? So if you want career advice, you can book a career advisory or consultation service for that. Damola, does the 450 pound one of extent to Nigerian residents? Yes, it does. Chat with our numbers, right, to get what the equivalent would be for you in Nigeria. What about those of us that already made deposits? This is a one-off payment, right? I think for if you made deposits, then it doesn't fall under mm -hmm. this. Because I believe people that made one-off payments so far, they actually enjoyed the Valentine discounts, which was the same amount as well. So when exactly does classes start for products management? I think I answered this already. Or are you asking? For I will go back to the schedule if you want to see the schedule because I have a schedule for Scrum Master and Product. You know, what about the one for Nigerians? Like I said, chats. Which of the books can you recommend for me? What that wants to write exam for Prince Two? So I think Prince Two is related to projects management, so I recommend the projects management and business analysis books come for you. What are the software involved in data analysis and business analysis section? Do you mean data analysis and business intelligence? You get to learn Excel. Power BI, Tableau, SQL. You get an introduction to all tricks, SSIS, SSRS, and Python, but those are introduction. The main you are learning, four tools you are learning are the basics you need to start a career in data analysis, which are Excel, Power BI, Tableau, and SQL. When does the KYC compliance session start? It starts March 30th. Secure your slots with 50% now and balanced by March ending or enjoy the one of discounts at just for 50 pounds. How do we book for career advice? Um, admin, please drop the link to the career advisory consultation service. OK, so what's the correlation between data analysis and PM? PM being projects management, right? So projects management is projects management. <laughs> data analysis is data analysis. However, right. PMs and all roles, right, need to be able to analyze data, right? So I would say that, you know, if you want to become a project manager, I would say start your journey to become a project manager. And then you can now, you know, do continuous development to learn data analysis after. How do project managers use data analysis? Project managers use data analysis, data analysis or analytical skills, skills for performance management, for budgeting sometimes, you know, for budgeting, for performance management, and, you know, the likes. But everybody needs to be able to use, and even for, you know, um, for your, you need to analyze your, what I mean, depending on the kind of projects, that you are also right um, implementing right you definitely need to have analytical skills i hope i answered your question 
what would you recommend for a designer? Which of the possible scope would you recommend? I mean, if you are a designer, you could either explore because a designer would work more with a project manager and business analyst or work with a scrum master and product owner in designing a product, right? Usually, I mean, yeah, because the, the full products um, life cycle require, you know, initiation to building and execution. When you get to the execution stage, you know, when the prototyping is done, a designer would, you know, um, need to take the, um, what do they call it now? The wireframes, the high level, or low level, low um, definition um, wireframe, right? Low fidelity, <laughs> this thing, or high fidelity prototype, right? So you, your, there are transferable skills that you already have that you would use more in that area than the data analysis. However, it's still up to you. You don't need to have experience in any of the field to transition to those fields. So it's up to you to choose the one you want. After this match, when next year is your bootcamp series for the year? So we have bootcamps every two months. We don't do every month because we don't want to just bombard and pack students that we can't give the attention to. So we have after every two months. So since we are having March and April now, March, you know, so the next one for all the ones starting in March would be May. And the next one for the April one would be like June. I don't know if that makes sense. What's the difference between data analysis and business intelligence analysis? So business intelligence analysis, the skills you need to be a business intelligence analyst is ability to use Power BI and visualization tools. So the fact that you can you learn Power BI within the bootcamps, you know, makes you a business intelligence analyst and, you know, you can draw intelligence out of data sets, you know, through visualization, Tableau. Those are the tools that make you. So that's why we call it data analysis and business intelligence analyst. We had a success story shared in our weekly interview prep on Thursday by one of our alumni that got a senior business intelligence analyst role with the NHS, right? And what he also pretended was the same camp that Ruth that's got a technical reporting analyst got. So the opportunity that you can explore at the end of the bootcamps, to be honest, is very, very, you know, unending. Do you advise one go for data analyst first, then progress to business analyst later? That's also an option. So if you are keen to become a data analyst, definitely data analysis is what you should go for first. Then, you know, then you can now learn business analysis. But what we are saying is that anybody and everybody needs data analytical skills. Everybody needs to be able to use Excel, you know. So if you want to become a data analyst or you want to add data analysis to what you already have. Definitely data analysis is what you should go for first. But probably when you even get your data analysis job, there'll be other things on your line, on your list of continuous development plan rather than going back to learn business analysis again. However, if you get business analysis first, you will still need data analysis at some point. Okay, so is the data analysis bootcamp different from business intelligence analysis? No, it's not different. It's the same. All our bootcamps are two in one. You know, that's the advantage, one of the advantage you get for being, you know, for joining RQI. Do we get work reference for the PMBA class? Yes, for all our full bootcamps, if you practice, yeah, you get, you know, reference for projects completed. You need to complete your project. You need to participate in the project. The work reference is attached to the work experience part. So you need to gain the experience to get the reference. But yes, if you do the experience, will you get the reference? Definitely. I'm sure that you also want to gain the experience. That's why you're joining the bootcamp, right? So is it project management or product management as a designer? Or can I have both as a designer? I think it depends on, you know, the one you want. They are very similar. They all work around, you know, um, they work around um, products, you know, projects. Some projects are also products in another environment, depending on the methodology being used, right? So, but I feel that in those two areas, a designer role is also within, and that way you can actually visualize what your previous experience has been, you know, in this environment. I don't know if you get because in the project management bootcamp, you build products that need design. Where a designer or as a business analyst, you need to learn prototyping. And probably as a designer, you can already do prototyping. So that will give you an advantage in that area. Right. That's why I recommend those boot camps. I have done a course with a career consultant in the UK before. What advice do you give to me if I pay for CV and LinkedIn? Will you treat me like a candidate? Like get a job? 
Okay, thanks for the question, Adiola. If you pay for CV and LinkedIn optimization service, you would get CV and LinkedIn optimization service. If you want to become an alumni or become, you know, um, a part of our students, then you need to become, you know, enroll for a student course, you know. But we've got the Tech Career Accelerator Bootcamp, like I said, where you can come to gain more experience and enjoy all the other benefits as well, right? So that's it. That's more cheaper than the full bootcamp. Will you help with Power BI software installation? Because I know it's not free like other software. I think there's a free version that uh, students use. Yeah, exactly. So Power BI is free. Okay. Can the discount be extended till 29th for monthly salary earners? Unfortunately, not. You know, the goal of the discounts is actually for those that are in this meeting right now. If we can't, it, I mean, selling the course at that price is a loss for us, but we are making that sacrifice because you also made the sacrifice to be in this session today, right? So try to secure your slots in whichever way, you know, or you can pay in installment as well. Right. What the one thing I know is that regard, whether you pay 750, which is the full amount, or you pay 599, or you pay 450, the value you are getting is still way more than those amounts I mentioned. Right. So will the bootcamp include CV optimization? Yes. So it will include CV optimization, LinkedIn optimization, LMS, access to LMS and um, you know, weekly interview prep, monthly webinar, you know, there's so many things to include, right? Interview prep and all that, right. So how about discounts for the tech that are here? I think I already announced the discounts and the link for the discounts has also been dropped. Anyways, it's been a really, really lovely time. I love this class. You know, we've been interactive from the word go and I lost connection at some points. Can you get a job as a business analyst with skills in data analysis? Are you saying additional skills in data analysis, right? That analysis skills will surely make you stand out regardless of the role you're applying for. Right, so how much is the tech career accelerator? It's if you're paying one off, it's three ninety nine. If you're paying an installment, it's four forty five or four yeah or four forty five I think. Right, and the next project phase is March. If you miss this March project phase, then you need to wait till we get to you know the project phase of the March goals as well. Right. Can I get jobs in the US with the knowledge from the bootcamp since it's focused on the UK? Oh, actually focused on the UK, actually. In our last course, we have people joining from Netherlands, you know, Switzerland, Finland, Canada. So it's not focused. We are based in the UK, right? But we operate remotely. The same. So you can join from anywhere in the world. You can join the skills of a project manager, either in the UK or US, are not different, right? It's not like it's a law rule that when you go to any other country you need to go and write their exam in that country or you need to go to buy in that country no this is tech your your skill and that's a that's part of the things i said at the beginning your skills are you know adaptable across borders so that's to answer your question clementina right i think i've done very good justice you know to all the questions so how about web portfolio so I think this is related to the data analysis bootcamp. Can someone with no prior knowledge of tech join the bootcamp? I mean, in terms of degree, definitely. I mean, definitely. You don't need to have prior tech for the bootcamps. You don't need to have prior knowledge. You're going to learn and then you're going to get work experience as well. OK, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining. For those that want to, you know, witness, you know, our products demo, see products that our students in the products projects from business analysis bootcamps have done, please join our product demo next week, this time next week. And also, if you build a product, you know, if you want to now with us to build a product, you have a business idea, you know, um, our RKY Digital Solution Service. Um, I mean, RKY Digital Solution Company, you know, is also, you know, um, happy to partner with you and to build, you know, your innovative products as well. So see you next week at the product demo for those that will be joining and see you in class for those that have secured their slots as well. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Have a great weekend. Oh, definitely you can pay now and decide the course you want before.
the start of the classes in March. We have quite a number of people that do that. So thank you everyone and have a great weekend.